Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Now today we will discuss about the electric potential due to a point charge. Now what is electric potential? Electric potential is the work done to bring a test charge from infinity to the required position. So work done to re require to bring that charge from infinity to that position will give you the electric potential. Its formula we can use further in this expression. Now we will start that point. Now see here you are observing that diagram. In that diagram we have a charge plus Q placed at O. And one test charge plus Q0 Q it is we are bringing from the infinity towards the point plus Q. Okay. Now the distance of that charge plus Q0 it is x from initially x from O point. Okay. Now slowly by doing small work done we are bringing that charge from M to N. So for that we required a small displacement dx represented in this given diagram. Okay. You are observing that. Now for bringing that test charge from infinity to M and from M to M towards Q plus Q. Okay. Now we will start from the basic definition of work done. We know that work done is nothing but the force into displacement. Okay. So force here two charges are there as shown in the diagram. So two charges means we will use here electro, Coulomb's electrostatic law. So what is formula for that? F is equals to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 k q into q naught divided by x square. So at present location the distance is shown here x. So divided by x square. This is the force. So using this force we will find here work done. Work done is what? F into dx. Okay. So from m to n small displacement we are traveling dx. So F into dx. Force into displacement is work done. Now negative sign arises here. What is the meaning of that negative sign? That we are doing work against the displacement. Okay. So work done and displacement both are in the opposite direction. Hence negative sign is there. So work done dw small work done due to small displacement is equals to minus f into dx. So what will be the total work done? So how we can find the total work done? By integrating the equation. The equation will give you w is equals to integration of dw with the limits x is equals to infinity to r. So our final position of total work done will be the point a. So infinity to point a. So from infinity to the remaining distance is r. Hence we are taking limit infinity to r. Okay. Now substitute the value of force that we have discussed earlier Coulomb's force in this present equation. Now in this equation you can see that the constant quantities we are keeping aside from that integration sign. So put away from that integration sign or put outside of that integration sign minus q into q naught 4 pi epsilon 0 into k. The remaining inside the integration is dx upon x square. Now integration of 1 upon x square into dx it is 1 by x. So by solving this ultimately we are getting here 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 k q into q naught divided by x with the limits infinity to r. So next step we will substitute the limits and solve this. So the final result will be w is equals to means total work done will be integration sorry the total work done will be 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 q into q naught divided by r. This is the total work done. Now at the first of this uh, lecture, I discussed that what is the potential, electric potential. Electric potential is work done to bring test charge. Here test charge is Q0. So work done to bring the test charge from infinity to this position is nothing but the electric potential. 
so what is our point to find this electric potential so what is electric potential as shown here by definition v is equals to w divided by q0 okay so substitute the value of w what we have calculated here that is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 q into q0 divided by r and by the definition of v again we have to divide with the q0 so w divided by q0 we have calculated here so ultimately final expression for potential electric potential will be 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught k if medium is there otherwise epsilon naught only for vacuum q only divided by r so this is the final expression for electric potential due to a point charge plus q and we are keeping or uh, bringing test charge from infinity to point A that unit charge, test charge it is Q0. Okay. So hope you understand this expression. If you have any doubt, comment here. I will solve this doubt. Okay. Like our videos, share this and subscribe our channel.